Hey everyone, welcome to the 710 Film Studios. I'm Jay Keeps, uh, here to break down DK Metcalf's two touchdowns from this game. Really want to highlight uh, a great game that he had, was able to, to beat Jalen Ramsey, which must have felt good multiple times after having Jalen Ramsey get the better of him all of last year. So, want to break down how he did it. Now look at the formation here that they come out with here in the red zone. Balls on the 19-yard line. This is the first score of the game. The Seattle Seahawks come out in a 3 by one bunch formation to the top. Single receiver down here. It's Jalen Ramsey versus DK Metcalf, mano e mano. Now what ends up happening here is the Rams, they show pre-snap a two-high shell coverage. And it looks like just based off of the shell that they're going to play some sort of cover four. Now, once the ball is snapped, that all of that changes. What they do is they end up playing cover three. And we call this cover three weak, meaning that the free safety is going to come down to the weak side and play into the flat, while this strong safety, Taylor Rapp, is going to go into the middle of the field. He's going to have deep third. Jalen Ramsey will then have deep third. Darius Williams will then have deep third. And you have the underneath coverage looking something like this. Okay. All right, we've got hook curl, hook curl on that side. So now what's going to end up happening for the offense is they're going to run a, a curl flat type of combination where you have a sit over the ball, you have Tyler Lockett running a curl, and then Will Disley is going to run into the flat. Down at the bottom, you're going to run a skinny post, bang post, time post. There's lots of ways to call it, but basically you're going to run seven steps, attack the corner, uh, not give him any indicators of what you're going to do, plant your outside foot in the ground, and it's a timing route. Russell Wilson's got to immediately throw the ball out of the break. As soon as he breaks, the ball's got to be in the air, and you've got to beat the middle field safety and the corner with the timing of the route, the precision of the route, and finally the precision of the throw. So getting to the next picture, we've got, we've got post snap here. So again, cover three. You see the safety get into the middle of the field. Everybody's got deep third responsibilities here. So Russell Wilson knows already where he wants to go with the football. He wants to go to the skinny post to DK Metcalf down at the bottom of your screen. So what does Russell Wilson have to do? He has to hold Taylor Rapp here into the middle of the field. He's already moving this way, but can Russell Wilson hesitate him enough to continue to open up that window? Then DK Metcalf, his job is to not give any indicators to Jalen Ramsey whatsoever. Trust me, Jalen Ramsey is looking inside at Russell Wilson. He's also trying to see if DK Metcalf is going to give him any indicator as to whether he's going to try to try him over the top for a fade route, whether he's going to break inside, right? That's really what he's looking for. DK does a great job of hunting down Jalen Ramsey, using his speed, getting vertical and attacking him head up straight on. You see his shoulders, you see his eyes. They're staring him down, not giving any indicator whatsoever. And then once DK Metcalf breaks and plants his foot in the ground, he snaps his eyes to the quarterback. He's got the win right here. Jalen Ramsey is flat footed. He doesn't have the ability to break on the ball. Why? Because as you see Russell Wilson here, he is already starting to throw the ball. The ball is going to come out of his hands. And, and guess what? They do a great job of, through the timing, being able to beat the safety, hold the safety, per plant it perfectly on DK Metcalf because Taylor Rapp is coming in hard, ready to hit and trying to lodge the ball out uh, from DK Metcalf. So Russell puts it just slightly um, to the left side to protect him and then also is able to beat Ramsey with the timing of the throw, DK is able to win inside because he hesitates Ramsey, gets him to open up and give him the inside leverage. And that right there, folks, is going to be a touchdown every single time between an elite quarterback and an elite receiver. Uh, winning route, winning play. All right, now we're going to go to the second touchdown. Geno Smith, 98 yards, drives him down the field. Incredible drive from Geno, capping it off with a touchdown here. Now, this is really simple. They go into empty formation. They stayed in empty the entire way. And really what they wanted to do was make it easy for Geno Smith to understand where the pressure was going to come from, understand if he was getting a four-man rush, three-man rush, or if, if he was going to get extra pressure here. The Rams, for the most part, elected to play coverage, and they played very soft knowing that they were in a two-possession game at the end here while the Seahawks are getting desperate. So what ends up happening here, which is very surprising, is the Rams allowed for DK Metcalf 
to be matched up against their weakest corner on their roster. Not the, not the guy that's third on their depth chart, but the fourth guy on their depth chart, uh, which is truly amazing. So as pre-snap, uh, Geno Smith has a pretty good idea that they're going to get one high coverage. They go to the snap. Look, four-man rush here. Uh, the, the, the Seahawks should be able to take care of that very well with Leonard Floyd dropping out, which I have no idea why they would not be sending Leonard Floyd, one of their better rushers, next to Aaron Donald, uh, sending him to the quarterback. But Geno Smith knows where he wants to go. One-on-one -on -one matchup. This is stealing every single time DK Metcalf against their fourth DB on the depth chart, and you can see why. He's going to throw this go ball to DK Metcalf. And as you see right here, the ball is in the air and the DB for the Rams is turning. His eyes are to the ball. He stops, turns his shoulders uh, to the ball rather than continuing to run with DK Metcalf and ends up losing him. And DK does a great job of holding his line, continuing to hold it, and then having that degree of separation because uh, <laughs> uh, Ashari Rockwell had his shoulders and eyes to the quarterback, loses the ball, and then has to turn and run. Look at the separation here that you see between DK and the DB. Like, honestly, I would love to say that this was a tremendous throw and a tremendous play by DK Metcalf, uh, but honestly, this is the easiest touchdown that the Seahawks will have <laughs> so far this year. Just really terrible play right here by this DB, the fourth guy on their depth chart here with the Rams. But and DK finishes with a big time day, uh, two touchdowns, five receptions, does a ton of his damage, just a little bit under 100 yards. But it was great to see him get involved, great to see him utilize in a variety of different ways. And for Geno Smith, you're going to have to lean on Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf, the rest of your playmakers to make big plays for you. And if DK can continue to run his routes with precision, understanding how to attack leverage and get himself open, uh, you're going to have uh, a lot of opportunity for Geno Smith and DK Metcalf to connect.